A monopoly market is characterized by a single seller of a product with no close substitutes, thereby little competition. This fact alone means that the firm faces a downward sloping demand curve, which is the market demand curve, and has the power to choose the price at which it sells its product. There can be a few reasons for monopolies. Firstly, very high barriers to entry protect a monopoly producer from competition. Copyrights and patents also protect a monopoly from competition. Another possible source of monopoly power is control over a resource specifically needed to produce the product. Most frequently, monopoly power is supported by government due to economies of scale. We call these natural monopolies, which we'll discuss at the end of this lesson. Since a monopoly faces a downward sloping demand curve for its product, profit maximization involves a trade off between price and quantity sold. As the only seller in the market, the monopolist can determine the market price to charge, hoping to find the price and output combination that'll bring the maximum profit to the firm. As explained before, to maximize profit, firms will expand output until its marginal revenue is equal to its marginal cost. So likewise for the monopolist, the profit maximum output is Q star with a price of P star. At this price and output level, economic profit for the firm is maximized. Due to high entry barriers, monopolist profits do not attract new market entrants. Therefore, long-run positive economic profits can exist. An obvious criticism of monopoly markets is that when compared to a perfectly competitive market, the monopoly market will produce less total output and charge a higher price. Recall from the lesson on perfect competition that its long-run equilibrium is where the supply is equal to the demand. If we think of supply as the marginal cost and the demand as the marginal benefit, this is the point where the consumer surplus and producer surplus is maximized. However, when a monopoly seeks to maximize profit by producing at the level where its MR equals MC, it increases its producer surplus, but at the expense of consumer surplus. Not only is this unfair to consumers, there's a deadweight loss, which is a loss of economic efficiency. This is created because the monopoly produces a quantity that does not maximize the sum of consumer surplus and producer surplus. From the market perspective, monopoly is considered inefficient because this area where the marginal benefit is still greater than marginal cost is not realized. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.